How's it hanging, YouTubes? Peter here, your Ginger Jordy Geek. Welcome back to Triple J Comics for another Geek Art Attack. And I'm really looking forward to this one. This one's going to be fun. I'm joined, as usual, by my good friend James T. Keegan. And this time, we're also joined by Efren from Passpoint One Comics. How are you doing, gentlemen? Ew. Doing Ew. well. I heard James needed me. He did. He was, he was pining for you, Efren. He needed the support. Yes. You know what? It's, don't underestimate how hard it is. To, to talk to six, seven, eight people and have none of them answer what you're saying. <laughs> That's because we're all drawn. You got, I mean, we've got somebody on tonight and I'm hoping you're going to distract him. So his yeah, okay. art is just a little bit. And um, that's the plan. You know what I mean? But you can do a blindfolded, Peter. Yeah. I'm sure he'll come out on top. Yeah. Always nice to have you on chaps. And you guys are going to be comparing for tonight and keeping the, the chat um, active as we do some, some drones. So let's see who we've got taking part tonight. First off, we have got. Good old JP Venom. How are you doing, Pete? I'm all right. And remember, kids, don't stick crayons up your nose. Yeah, yeah. Good. <laughs> yeah. Sound advice, mate. Sound advice. How are you? Are you well? Are you ready for action? I am very well. Thank you very much. And thanks for having us back on. Have you been practicing? No. <laughs> you don't just need a little, practice, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Your art was stunning last time. So I'm expecting oh, thank you very much. things uh, this time. I will Speaking try and keep of... it simple. So I can get through them. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm sure James and Efren will keep it nice and straightforward for tonight. Speaking of art, we've got a bona fide artist on tonight. We've got Kev. How are you doing, Kev? Hi, I'm good. How are you guys? Oh, not bad, oh, mate. Good. Not bad. bad. Um, now, Kev, you've first time on my channel, I think. Tell the people a little yeah. bit about yourself and what you do. Oh, so I'm a, an illustrator. So I'm hoping that will help me today. <laughs> and I do my own comic books. And I've got some here. So I do my own comic called The Last Iron Here. It's a Viking post, post Ragnarok comic. And I'm up to four issues. And yeah, that's me. And I also do Kev's Draw Along on the Nerd Herd channel as well. So I'm been reviewing my videos as well to help me. <laughs> Tremendous. Did, Thank you very I much. I did do a zombie it. video. <laughs> yeah. So I, yeah, I watched that one. Um, so Kev's book, I always get the name of the last Ein, Ein, Jaw, Ein, Ein Who Ya. <laughs> Ein Who Ya is yeah. stunning. Um, I've I've got all four issues of it, and I've, you're kind enough to send me some original artwork a while ago. Kev, you also do commissions if people want to get in touch to do some commissioned work, isn't that right? Yes, I do. And Good. I've got Star Wars Celebration coming up, so if anyone wants a commission, I need money for that. <laughs> so. All right. I didn't realise you were at Celebration. Myself and James are at Star Wars yeah, Celebration. Yeah, I'm going to. Yeah. Oh, I'll Good see you there then. <laughs> we'll meet up. We'll, we'll, yeah, we'll share yeah. a few Star Wars themed yeah, drinks, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, Good stuff. Thanks very much for joining me. Now... Bringing, I mean, this guy is literally sunshine in a bottle. Um, he brings the, the smiles to the show. We've got James from Comic Deal. How are you doing, James? Hey. Yeah, I'm good. Thanks. Good stuff. <laughs> it's good to be here. Good stuff. No, it's well? brilliant to be here. It's brilliant to be here. I'm so happy that I've managed to get back on. Um, good so, yeah. Yeah, we missed you last month, James. We missed you. Now, oh, um, you less. are a very talented artist as well, and I just wanted to give a big thank no. you because you sent me a, um, a trading no. card that you did yourself of a very famous bunny. Isn't that right? Yeah, and not Bugs. It wasn't Bugs, Bugs but it was... Um, <laughs> no. You, you, I get the name on the Pronounce it, pronounce it, Pete. Pronounce I can, it man. I'm a Geordie. I can barely speak English, man. Um, you, Zaggy, you saw Jimbo? Oh, that was... That was... Sad yeah. how close that was. No. So close. <laughs> so far away. Usagi Yojimbo. That's what I said. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, James, so it's the accent. Very... It's just, it's, it's, it's hard to nail in, in that exactly. accent. So. Exactly. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, thank you very much for coming back, James. And, James, um, at the end of the show, we're going to be announcing what we're doing next month. And I think you're going to like that one. So, um, hopefully, you'll be able to join me next time as well. Is it Yosagi so, Yojimbo? It might be. It might be. Um, <laughs> Okay, guys, we're also joined this month by a, a bona fide um, artist extreme, someone who I've followed for a long time and the amazing Alex Cormack. I'm absolutely ecstatic that he's actually given some time to come and spend some, some quality time with us tonight. So thank you very much, Alex. Just before we bring him on, just a quick a little VT of some of the work you might have seen him having done. <laughs> Ah, 
Alex. <laughs> I need that. Welcome. I need that thing. Uh, like, is, that's my alarm to wake up every morning. <laughs> that's, that's I kind of feel, but when your name came up there, we should have done like X Factor voiceover. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Alex, call me. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, mate. Thank you so much for coming on. I know I've 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 known you for a little while now. We interviewed you a while back and yeah. spoke with you at Thought Bubble, and you've been very kind in doing me some commissioned artwork. Um, I don't think it's you know it's blowing smoke up your, your, to say that you are a bona fide superstar artist so thank you for spending some time with me yeah, yeah, absolutely i'm happy to be here good and uh, for, the, for the record uh markers up your nose are okay crayons so why it's the one i was just around for like a second like oh do i have any crayons and like would you click on me i'll have them like right on my nose <laughs> now i got nothing no <laughs> alex tell tell me a little bit about your career so far the, the kind of work that you've done up till now all right. Um, yeah. So uh, I, you know, Zillion. Uh, you can see him uh, right behind you, Peter. But uh, uh, yeah, no, I've I've done a. I've, right now, I'm in the middle of a book called uh, Breath of Shadows. And actually, I, that's not true. I just wrapped it up like, uh, like on Friday. But um, but that's out and about from there. Yeah, there it is. Um, and that's out and about from IDW and doing that with uh, Rich Duick and uh, Justin Burge doing the lettering. And uh, it's basically uh, it takes place in the like late sixties and this rock star going out in the jungle, trying to find a cure to his, uh, his drug habit and, uh, and shenanigans ensue with uh, meeting the locals and a lot of centipedes. And, yeah. Um, but yeah, a lot of, a lot of the stuff that I do is uh, horror comics and um, also got, there you go. Sync with uh, fabulous and crimson cage there with uh, the fabulous John Lee's uh, and um, we're doing more sync right now. And um I also wrote a bones there in the middle. Uh, that was also with uh, Rich. Duick. That was the first book that Rich Duick and I did, uh, which was about like a, a gulag uh, a prison escape story. And uh, they get out and then uh, they get out in this uh, like desert of snow and mountains and uh, run out of stuff to eat real quick. And uh, like I said before, shenanigans ensue. But uh, yeah, and over there, the Crimson Cage. And uh, yeah, that was, uh, that was like John's like uh, dream project. which was great. It's just uh he mixed uh, Macbeth and uh, early 1980s uh, territorial wrestling over here in, uh, or like down in like Louis Louisiana, and um, yeah, that one was just uh, it was just nuts to do. <laughs> I mean, that's it. All of your work is stunning, but Crimson Cage, I know, was a, um, a big fan favorite for a lot of people. James, I know you're a huge wrestling fan. You you enjoyed Kim, Crimson Cage as well, didn't you? Oh yeah, yeah, I did. I loved it. I was like, I was like, thought it was amazing. Oh, yeah. thank you so much. Stunning work, stunning work. Um, and like you said, you're currently doing Breath of Shadows, which is a phenomenal read. Um, I, I've just finished issue two. And I think one of the things that always strikes us with your work, Alex, is how stomach churning it can be. So um, <laughs> no spoilers for people, but the last page of Breath of Shadows 2 is, is a particularly gruesome image um, of a guy's face. And wow, it's yeah. and in issue one, there's that scene where the centipede comes out of his eye socket. Oh, it's, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah I, uh, that's, that's the thing with this book. It was uh, um, like getting ready because yeah, if if you haven't seen it yet, there's centipedes. All well, is like the, page one. This guy's like uh, he's trying to find a needle to shoot up heroin, and he's yeah. like basically hallucinating, and centipedes just puke out of his arm, and they're all over the place, crawling over his head, and that's page one. And, <laughs> I mean, that, the fact is, someone puking out of his arm like that, like being gross like that, that wasn't a problem. But centipede man, are, they, I, I, I just having to look up reference for them. Yeah, it's, it's gross. It's <laughs> so like visceral and just like I mean, bloody like, guts, yeah. all that stuff. That's fine, you know. Uh, you know, like you know, death and like body parts, whatever. Um, even that last page, the dude's heads. Yeah. Like, I, I can roll with that, but uh, go googling bugs. <laughs> 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 like I had. Uh, I had to tuck my pants into my socks, make sure nothing crawled up there. <laughs> but, uh, uh, it's funny yeah. how things like that just creep you out. I mean, I watched it. Yeah. You, you guys, anybody remember the old TV series MacGyver? Sure, sure. Yeah. yeah. There was an episode of MacGyver where I think someone fell in an anthill and the ants crawled all over them. And I've been freaked out by ants ever since. Just the thought of them on you. you know, horrible I, found a, I found an anthill when I was a kid. It was not, did, not nice. Did you? Yeah, yeah. Well, I was pushed. You weren't on an episode of MacGyver, James, were you? <laughs> no. Not that I know. <laughs> you know, when I, when I was a kid, I, I hate ants. So the thing is, so when I was a kid, I had like uh, this uh, big wheel and, uh, and like the seat was like hollow, right? 
And uh, we, uh, it was, you know, I was like maybe like four, three, four years old. And uh, all winter, apparently a colony of ants, like made like an ant city in there. I had no yeah. idea about this. And finally, the first day of spring, I take it out and I'm riding around like my parents' driveway. And also I'm like, what, what is, what's that feeling I got? And I, oh, wow. I looked down and I opened my pants and it's black, just filled with ants all crawling all over me. So I had ants in my pants. Um, I mean, you, you touched on it just before there, um, Alex, but you know, I'm a massive Sync fan. Um, one of my favorite series is I love the, the writing, I love the artwork, it's it's tremendous. Thank and I'm right in seeing that there's, there's currently a, um, a kickstart out for that as well, isn't there? Yep, yeah, they uh, they uh, John and uh, Tyler they put up a kickstarter for uh, issue 11. Yeah. And um, which uh, I, I gotta wrap up the colors on that, but that's that's basically almost done. Yeah. And uh, starting issue twelve in like I, maybe tomorrow, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, that, that's the thing with sync. Like I mean, John has got it all. Like he's basically got up to page uh, like issue twenty written, yeah. and I, I just need a good kick in the butt to <laughs> to uh, <laughs> you know get cracking and do yeah. these suckers. But um, yeah. but yeah, what what John's got cooked up is gonna be really good. I'm I'm yeah. really excited to show this all off. Especially this next issue. There's a bit that, like near the end that I'm really excited to draw. Yeah. yeah, looking forward to that. And I know, um, I think I asked John when we're at Thought Bubble, and I know you can't <clears> make a sequel to Macbeth, but is there going to be a similar kind of book coming out to the uh, Crimson Cage? Are you going to do oh, all of that? We, yeah, we were kicking around a couple ideas. Um, I, I don't know what. I, I don't know what's going on. We, uh, we, uh, I know John had. Um, like two ideas for a sequel. Like John, you know John. He's got like yeah. uh, he had like fifteen ideas, like right out of the right out of the box. And um, but yeah, as far as anything, any news on that, I, I got nothing to report. I don't know what's yeah. going on. But uh, if, if if there is news, you're going to be the first to know. Good man, good man. <laughs> and finally, um, just before we move on, Alex, I, I know you've been very kind in doing me some commissioned um, artwork. Oh, if yeah. people want to get in touch with you, are you still open for commissions at the moment? Or? Sure, why not? Yeah, good. So yeah. what we'll do is we'll we'll drop your Instagram link in the or whatever yeah, link it is, and if people yeah, want to get in touch to do DM me, I'm easy. You know, good stuff. <laughs> okay, guys. Before we move on to the actual comp, I just want to quickly jump to the chat. So we've got a lot of people in, so let's just see who we've got tonight. As usual, we've got our biggest fan, good old Streamyard. Thanks for joining. Quack, quack, quack. <laughs> we've got good old Fuzzy. Thank you very much for for joining, Fuzzy. <laughs> we've got Ian. Thanks for joining, mate. And um, we've got John. Thank you very much for joining, John. And we've got Jack. Thank you. Jack sent some stunning artwork in last week, so thank you for that, um, Jack. We have got Martin from Song Comics. Thanks for joining. We've got Gigi. I got it right last time, didn't I? Um, thanks very much for joining, Gigi. Uh, and we've got Mrs. Von Hoot. She sent Good some touch. stunning artwork in next time, uh, last time, so please do the same this week. We've got Andy from Perpetual Comics. Andy... Um, Andy's a bit of a bold guy. He he um, he threw the gauntlet down towards yourself, Alex, on um, on Twitter, um, I believe, and, and challenged you. Yeah, um, yeah, and then didn't turn up. So you I know? wonder why. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's you can talk to talk, but uh, you know when it comes to uh, <laughs> it comes to it, they're, uh, they're lacking, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, yeah, Andy's definitely lacking. You're right. Um, we've also got Ben, the attention seeking geek. Um, thanks very much for joining, Ben. Um, what's he saying? So looking forward to Peter's attempts to cheer me up. <laughs> We've got <coughs> Phil from Phil's Nerdyverse. He's, he should have been on tonight, but unfortunately he's... Bit, not unfortunately, that sounds terrible. I'm sure he loves spending time with his children. Um, but yeah. <laughs> No, no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. You're right. Yeah. No, he doesn't. Have you met his kids? Too? <laughs> <laughs> We've got Phil's just jumping in there to say Crimson Cage was phenomenal. Yeah, um, a lot of praise for, for Crimson Cage. Um, Alex, I think it's a superb book. Okay, guys. So tonight we are going to be talking horror. Um, this is going to be all things scary monsters. So just quickly before we go into it, there's a whole wealth of material out there for horror. I just want to very quickly come to you all and you to tell me your favourite horror movie. Now, Efren, I know we've talked horror movies before and I know you are a horror aficionado. You love the scary stories. So we'll come to you first. What's your favourite horror story? Alex and guys, he's just joking. We've done videos in the past on horror movies, myself, James, and uh, Ben, and they know horror movies just scare the, the Jesus out of me. So <laughs> ever since I was a kid, 
<laughs> and when I was a little kid, I don't know why, my mom took me to go see The uh, Exorcist. Oh, my Linda God. Blair. She's and, a good uh, mom. Yeah. yeah that's right. and, and just that movie, you know, when I got home, you know, um, I prayed that nothing would happen to me that night. I turned on the radio, and it was a theme song to The Exorcist. And I was oh. like, oh, my God, ever since. You know, so The Exorcist for me is like a sports movie, but, you know. That's just me. That'll do it. That'll do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah that'll do it. Definitely. James, now you really are a horror aficionado, James T. Yeah. Keegan. What's your it's favorite? My blood. Um, it's like Sophie's Choice, you know. You, you, I'd almost ask you to narrow it to like a decade, but uh, I think Halloween for me is probably the original Halloween, just a mass classic. It's the only horror film from like pre 1985 that I think is actually scary. Um, right. Michael Myers, yeah. that's just a horror villain, is, is perfect. You know, it's, it's just the, the kind of epitome of evil. The design, incredible as well. And I'm a huge Sean Carpenter fan. It's got one of the best scores in any movie ever. It's one of the best direction as well. So I'd, I'd definitely go with that one, I think. Good stuff. James, comic deal? You know, I don't I don't watch a lot of horror. I mean, uh, Cats, Cats was horrendous. I don't know about Cats. James Yeah. Um, it's probably, it, it's hard to say it's horror. I guess the, the, the first one was horror. So the Evil Dead and Army of Darkness are probably oh, my favorites. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Good choice. Love the, and there's a new Evil Dead film coming out. Cannot wait to see that. That looks oh, yeah. proper. Has anybody seen the trailer yeah, for that? that? Yeah, it's not Bruce Campbell. Yeah. I don't. I don't count it. Yeah, yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's a shame. The great, yeah. the great movies. Yeah. No. Kev, uh, an American Werewolf in London. Oh, I love that yeah. film. <laughs> the classic. Yeah, classic. The sequel was on the other day, American Werewolf in Paris. And it's utter, yeah, never watched that. Never oh, watched yeah. it. Dreadful, absolutely <laughs> terrible movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> JP Venom, what about yourself? Uh, mine's another John Carpenter. It's the thing. Nineteen eighty-two. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you yeah. go. Awesome. Good stuff. And Alex, yourself? Uh, you know, I'm going to go with, uh, I mean, you know, it's, um, yeah, you're right. It's a tough call. I mean, it's it, like, James, you're saying, like, uh, give me a decade and I'll, <laughs> but uh, uh, I'm going to go with uh, Dead Alive uh, or Brain Dead. Um, the, yeah, yeah, brain dead. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. it's, I, 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 I remember watching that and just walking away, just being like, it was one of the best things. <laughs> it was yeah, so yeah. bonkers. Well, yeah, is that, that's... Um, is that James Gunn, brain dead. What's oh no, that's uh, oh, uh Peter, Peter Jackson. Jackson. Peter, Peter Jackson, Jackson, sorry, yeah, yeah Peter Jackson. Yeah, yeah, I, I remember uh, I saw it with um, you yeah, with my brother and um, uh, my sister in law, and she was just like, Listen, I, I'll sit down with you guys, watch a horror movie, but uh, I mean, I don't want anything too gory, like, I'm looking for like, <laughs> like oh, well, we haven't seen this before, so it should be fine. And it's like the, the goriest <laughs> movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a good one. I remember, and I was very good. We've had a few suggestions from the um, from the chat, and Fuzzy, I think, has got it bang on here. Um, Spice World the movie, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> terrific. Stuff. Ian Carter, Poltergeist, yeah, Poltergeist completely freaked freaked me out. I didn't, yeah. Oh, when, the, when the dude has a face, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. There's the bit I've mentioned it before in some streams, but there's the bit where the guy eats some chicken and it's infested with maggots, and then he scratches his face, and the maggots come out. Ah. It's a bit like your centipedes, it, it, uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> Bill saying Halloween was his comfort every day when he was six years old. That explains a lot, Phil. Yeah, um, we've got. <laughs> and he spent a weekend in the same hotel as James at Thought Bubble. It, I remember that. We actually sent people up to make sure you were alive at one point, James. <laughs> I wasn't. Um, I, I wasn't. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we've got Fuzzy. It follows. This is the one you told us about James T, wasn't it? You mentioned Excellent. it a while ago. One, The best modern horror movie, I think. Like the yeah. best one of the is last The one about the STD? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's very kind of Carpenter esque. Like it's, it's kind of inspired by Halloween and it's, yeah, an amazing movie. Not seen that one. I still have to catch that up on that one. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. We've got Sonic Comics in Always Love Nightmare, yeah, Freddy. Yeah. But I, I just love the character of Freddy Krueger. I just think he's amazing. I like how he's having fun with it. Do you know what I mean? It's that kind of mad <laughs> laugh and everything. Yeah. And then Ben's coming with the shining. Yeah, yeah, again, yeah. another classic yeah, Ben. Yeah. It's a superb film. Hey, Peter, okay. Peter, you yeah. missed a comment. Oh, who did I miss? I'll show it to you right now. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. We're still talking about horror. Is that? Is that... Yes, yes. <laughs> I told you before. Backstage hair is a, is a is a no go. Um, yeah. Discussion point on the show, please. 
<laughs> okay, chaps. So let's get into it. So the, the, the rules, as usual, are you can use any medium you want. So if you want to use watercolours or models or just pen and paper, whatever you want. You will be allowed to look at reference material. So when the guys tell me what to draw, we'll give you a minute or so to do some research, just in case you want to try and get some reference pictures. Five minutes per round. And you must stop when James or Efren tell you to stop. Um, and it's a round we'll of see. four. So yeah, best of four. And then there's an additional one at the end where the people in the chat can can opt for what they want to draw next. So that's the rules. Anybody got any questions on that? Hmm. Fab. Okay. okay. As usual, we've got two competitions going, which we're going to give away some free comic books. So um, if you've done an image or you've done a drawn that you spent a bit more time on, like your digital images we got last time, send them to my Instagram account at Triple G Comics and we'll pick um, a winner from that lot to give some comics to. And also, if you want to play along at home, send us your five-minute sketches um, again to my Instagram. And at the end, I'll pull them all together, show them on screen. And again, we'll pick a winner and they'll get some comics as well. So a couple of options for you to win some comic books. Okay, with that, I'll hand over to James and Efren. All right, boys. First up, this is per uh, Efren's suggestion. Ooh. Universal yeah. Monsters. So, Efren. I picked the old um, horror movie monsters. It's like I, I used to love these movies when I was a kid growing up. I, used to, I had statues of them, the glow and the dark ones. So this is my first pick. Pick any monster you want, obviously, and you know. Yeah. All right. It's a good I think one. this this needs to be said though. You cannot hold up a blank sheet of paper and say it's the invisible man. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> somebody is going to make that joke. <laughs> I think we were all thinking of <laughs> that, um, that is the first rule. So. <laughs> <laughs> so they give him a minute. So you can pick, pick any of these you want anyway. Um, yeah, it's amazing designs, I think. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, Universal Monsters. I used to love watching these old black and white movies as a kid growing up. You know, it's one of my favorite introduction, like to say, horror movies, so to speak, you know, the genre of it all. These are the ones that I could, that I liked that didn't scare the bejesus out of me. <laughs> you know, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever hear that, uh, that Mel, Mel Brooks thing about uh, Frankenstein coming together? Yeah, Son of, yeah. Son of Frankenstein? No. Young Frankenstein? Young Frankenstein. And, oh, he had the movie. Oh, put on the Ritz. He had a story from when he was a kid that uh, he was he went to see Frankenstein as a kid, I guess, and he was terrified of it. And then his uh, mother sat him down and be like, all right, listen, this is what Frankenstein would have to do to actually get you. You'd have to leave like Transylvania or whatever, get a t like, uh, figure out, like, get to a, like, a boat, figure out, like, how to operate a boat, Get in the boat, sail across the ocean, make his way to like New York City, go through customs, go through like uh, all that <laughs> stuff. Get, get on here, get find the number like whatever bus, <laughs> like you know, like twenty miles in, and uh, come up to our place, go to the third floor, and find your specific door to get you. That's that's a lot for him to do. Just yeah. so yeah, it'll be fine. <laughs> Sounds doable, doesn't it? it? Sounds achievable. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's you know, it, well, when you lay it out like that, like all right, well, if you do. <laughs> Are we uh, are we all ready to put pen to paper? Yeah, sure. Yep, ready. Five minutes to start. All right, get the old right. pencil here. After we kind of uh, went back and forth and thought what we talk about over over the show, and one that we kind of came back to was uh, movies this year and what kind of yes. we're looking forward to. So, I just kind of I separated these into just regular movies and then the kind of superhero stuff. Now, I know we could probably spend five minutes talking about any single one of these, but uh, is there one or two in there in particular you're you're really excited for this year? Um, well, sentimental wise, the last Guardians of the Galaxy. I mean, I think that's going to be somewhat of a tearjerker because it's the last movie James Gunn has yeah. done for Marvel and he's going over to DC. And also Loki season two. Um, season yeah. two is a, um, Loki season two is the first D, uh, Disney Plus um, series that, you know, it's got a new, another season going on. Right. So I'm curious to see, you know, what they're going to do with that. But they're all good movies. More or less, I'm not sure about Aquaman. <laughs> yeah, well, well I've, I've okay. heard lately test screenings aren't very positive about it. Yeah, what what was about that right? yeah, some people are saying worst uh, DC movie ever made. No. Oh, Aquaman? So, yeah, apparently. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll see anyway. We got, I like the first it. one, I thought the first one was pretty good. Yeah, all right. I think it's middle of the road, it's not like amazing. I don't think it should have made a billion dollars. I think that's kind of crazy that it looked <laughs> like Aquaman of all of them made a billion. Um, yeah, Loki, Loki, I'm really excited for. I think the Quantumania kind of tease we got, um, yeah, in particular, kind of got me excited for that. Craven is one I'm very curious about, and like, I don't know if you're are you a big fan of the Sony kind of era of 
the Spider-Man yeah. spin-off I mean, movies. They're, they're just not doing a good job. I mean, I think uh, hopefully they'll be, uh, they'll let Marvel help them out a little bit, you know, um, Marvel Studios, but they do a you know good job with Spider-Man, but I don't think they will. I think these are like standalone movies that yeah. they're doing on their own. But that being said now, it's a great director. I can't remember his name, but he did um, okay. a most of the year. It's an Oscar Isaac kind of mobster movie that I really love. So um, there's some talent behind the, the camera. And Aaron Taylor Johnson's great casting, but for me, it's like, oh, he's already Quicksilver. It's like a, you know, yeah. kind of makes it for me. But um, that's he one I'm like. He was in Did you watch Bullet Train? He was amazing. Yeah, no? yeah he's great in that, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Um, like, I think, I'm sure, I wouldn't doubt his acting ability. I think he'll make a good Craven, but like, there's some kind of weird story decisions it seems to make him with that. Um, what about Blue Beetle? That's one I'm really curious to see, because it's like a new character, something I don't know that much about. I'm curious of the tone they're going to go for with that. Is that one you're yeah, looking forward to? It's out of uh, Cobra Kai, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah, his uh, uh, actor from yeah. Cobra Kai, because Blue Beetles has, is a Hispanic character. So I'm curious to see how they're going to be doing that. But these are these movies are the pre James Gunn movies. Um, but you know, we'll see how they do. But the one, another one I'm really looking forward to is the Flash because of Michael yeah. Keaton is going to show up. Yeah, oh, they yeah, did yeah. that right when they showed the. Um, preview of it uh, during a Super Bowl. Like, okay, everybody's going to want to see this movie because of that. Yeah, oh, definitely. definitely yeah. Um, Across the Spider-Verse, I think, needs a, needs a shout-out. That maintains the quality yeah. of the first movie. I think that's going to be really amazing. Yeah, that, that's the one out of all these that I'm... I, I will actually go to the theater and go check it out. Like, yeah. everything else I might check out on streaming, but, uh, like, uh, but yeah, the Spider-Man one. Yeah, I mean, that's... Because... Uh, that's I show that to my son, and uh, he and he's six years old, and he just went ballistic for it. And yeah. like ever since then, I've been reading like him the like the original Stan Lee, Steve Ditko, uh, Spider Man's for bed, and uh, for bedtime and all that. So we've been hyping up that movie at least here in the house. But um, do you think we're going to get a live action element to it as well? Because there's been rumors, hasn't there, that um, oh, oh, we're going to get an appearance. Maybe maybe in the third one. I don't know. I don't know if you'll get like a like a Tom Holland or a Tobey Maguire in it. Um, but maybe like you know they'll pass through a live action universe in there at some point. Hmm. Wouldn't shock me. Anyway. Um, yeah, Alex, um, since your son, you said he was six years old. Does, yeah, six, yeah. Does he relate more to Miles or Peter? Um, he well, he I tried showing him some of like the Miles Morales comics, uh -huh. and it's funny because all like so comics that I'll show him. Uh, and he, all the new stuff, he's just like, yeah, whatever. But he <laughs> loves that, like the old Stan Lee, uh, wow. Jack Kirby, Steve Ditko. He loves that stuff, the 60s stuff. Like, I, I mean, we were like, you know, talking about Fantastic Four yesterday and mm -hmm. like that type of So, like, he, yeah, he digs that era. But yeah, everything else is kind of like, I'm like, here's some new stuff. He's like, eh, eh, that's great. <laughs> but Alex, if I had you as a dad, I'd have you be drawing for me like every day. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he gets, James, um, how long we got left? Yeah, draws, whatever. 12 <laughs> seconds, but I'll give you a slide. Oh, minute wow. I, have, I have another slide. Uh, is it toss Yeah. I'll give you another couple minutes because we have another yeah. kind of thing to talk about. But, uh, so outside of kind of um, superhero stuff and comic book stuff, there's a few other things coming out. Scream I'm seeing on Wednesday, I'm really excited for. Yeah. Um, curious if that's going to kind of... The trailers are saying this ghost face is not like any other ghost face. I'm curious if they're actually going to be able to, to deliver on that. I can't help but think of like uh, uh, Friday Thirteenth in New York, you know. Yeah, yeah, I think that's yeah. like a, they're yeah. like homaging that in a way. Yeah, um, <laughs> absolutely. Um, I, Peter, I don't know if you got the trailer for this when you went to see Cocaine Bear, but there's this movie called Strays. Uh, did no, you get a trailer for this? One. So this is Cocaine like, uh, Bear, by the way, is superb. Yeah, Just fantastic. Saying. So I, I, this is one that just kind of came out of nowhere, but it's uh, like an R-rated version of Homeward Bound. What? All right. So it's like, it's like talking dogs. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like talking dogs. And like the dog, the, like uh, it's Will Arnett, uh, not Will Arnett, Will Ferrell plays the main kind of dog. His buddy's his name, and his, dog, his owner abandons him. Oh, yeah, he needs, dude, I've seen he needs these other it, dogs. Yeah. And they're like, let's go bite his dick off. And they're like, journey to his house, and they like eat mushrooms and like drink beer. And there's like prostitute <laughs> dogs and stuff. It looks absolute. I, I've never laughed as much at a trailer ever. So there's that's what I'm Prostitute dogs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like poodles that are like prostitutes. Hey, baby, what's a poodle? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, like, I'd love to be a poodle, wouldn't it? Yeah. I'd say that's probably going to be the next month or two. So I'm, that's one I'm, I'm really looking forward to. Efren, is there any other ones here you're uh, oh, you're excited about? Hands down, Indiana Jones. I think yes. this is the final go to for Indy. Um, I hope it goes out with a bang, you know. So I'm really having my fingers crossed on this movie. 
Yeah. And, uh, yeah. That's, yeah, that's, that's the one out of, out of all these movies that you've shown. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm Indiana Jones is my all time number yep. one favorite movie. It's that's like the top of the mountain. It, it just, but uh, so yeah, if, I, I'm I'm happy for this movie solely because uh, that trailer they did to the Super Bowl having Sala go give him hell Indiana Jones. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, we're done. we're done. You don't have to do the movie now. Well, that's all I need. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. But yeah, here's, yeah, here's hoping they don't you know they don't drop the ball on that one. Hopefully, it's not mm-hmm. a Die Hard Five. You know. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Or an Indiana Jones Four. Um, <laughs> but uh, Oppenheimer is another one that's got this year that like I kind of just got flown under the radar. But that's Christopher Nolan's new movie about Killian Murphy, with Killian Murphy playing um, the guy who created the atomic bomb. So I'd say that'd be a, a good one as well. Guys, you've had seven and a half minutes, so I think we'll call All it right. here, will we? Surely not. Right. Well, let it go to ten then, just for this round, Peter. Okay. We'll, okay. We'll, we'll give him a little Any bit other of movie? games. Super Mario yeah. Bros. Is that one you're interested in, Nathan? Um. I like the game. I'm not a big. I'm not much of a big gamer, but everybody knows the Mario Brothers. I just hope they do it right. I mean, all the yeah. movies, you know. So I think um, the lead voice for Mario Brothers is. I'm drawing a blank on the uh, actor's Pratt. name. Oh, Chris yeah, Pratt. Chris right? Pratt. Yeah, Pratt yeah. So I hope he has a good accent. <laughs> he, he does. From the trailers, like I think he, people were were giving it a guff, and I remember I was talking on one of our streams about it and he's well saying he's not going to do the accent and i was like he's 100 percent going to do the accent and he does yeah. he does like a kind of brooklyn he has to you know, uh, so hopefully, you know well, and these are all movies that are coming out in this year correct this year yeah over the next year yeah. like uh, pretty much everything is by the end of summer i think um yeah maybe oppenheimer is a bit later john wick is well, really excited the, the turtles movie wick. too isn't it it's just dropped today that's coming out in august isn't it the, the new yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah so we're giving you guys ten minutes. So these are the best part. Fuzzy, st- Fuzzy staying in the comments there that the rules have gone out. <laughs> 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 well, you guys at home who are drawing along, if I knew if I knew we had ten minutes, I wouldn't have rushed this one. Yeah. Next round, <laughs> we're going to give you guys one minute. So yeah, it's, it's coming out. You'll yeah. get you'll get two seconds. We'll cut it two out seconds. two seconds. <laughs> Just do a line. Yeah, yeah. Um, Effin, have you seen 65? Have you seen about this movie? It's Adam Driver fighting dinosaurs. I've been seeing commercials on it on TV. You know, they show it. Uh, anything to do with dinosaurs, like I'm always there, you know. Yeah, yeah. Jurassic Park. Yeah. So this this one seems, you know, very it should be interesting, you know, because it's just, you know, going back. I think it's obviously going back in time. So uh, uh, five or sixty-five million years ago. Well, I think he's an alien. I don't know if he's like oh. a future guy who goes back in time. I think he's from. I, the impression I got is he's from another planet and he's like just a, a space explorer. Um, oh, gotcha. But we'll see in the movie anyway. The, but. the advert says that sixty-five million years ago, humans arrived on Earth. So I don't know if they're gonna. Oh, okay, be, he's the, yeah, he's the first future. Yeah. yeah, I just thought they're trying to rip Dino Crisis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. All right, we've given right. these guys enough time. Don't that is plenty of right. time, yeah. boys. So let's let's drop our pens and pencils. I'm gonna scan who is still drawing, and you can go. First. I mean, the scary thing is, even with those additional five minutes, it still looks shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I don't. I don't. I don't actually. Add, this is a cakewalk for Alex, so we'll let uh, we'll let Alex go first. All right. Show us what you got. There you go. No, I'm just kidding. That's uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, piss off! Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Hey, he's going to get you. He's going to Brooklyn, baby. That is incredible. Yeah. All right, guys. I'll, I'll see you later. Dang it! <laughs> I love how you you all have to follow that. So that's uh, so. Perfect. So for a direct comparison, Peter. Uh, that's <laughs> totally unfair. Um, <laughs> Oh, there you go. I got some color it's in not, there. It's not bad at all. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. A, it's the Gilly Man yeah. 6 doll. That's my wife. That's it. <laughs> what? Peter, what Pokemon is that? <laughs> it's like a G-Bomb <laughs> Pokesaur or something. Uh, James. Uh, let, me, let me get you. Solo. There you go. Not bad. Yeah, that's nice. nice. Good. Yeah, yeah cool. very good. So Potter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll uh, take that one later. Uh, GP, let's see what you got. They are very nice. Very nice. I love that. Very nice. <laughs> yeah. There we go. 
Oh, oh, really? oh, oh, I love that. Oh, yeah. oh, that's awesome. Oh, who, whose idea was it to bring actual artists on the show? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say the, the, the first episode of this show felt much, much more in my kind of level. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you have to find yourself on your own show, Pete. Yeah. Uh, uh, right, we do uh, hold the ball up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, screen grab. Uh, guys, vote in the comments in the chat there. Who's is your favorite? I think it's, uh, it's well. I, they're they're a bit closer than I was. Uh, yeah. I was anticipating. So, super, awesome. super. Well done, gentlemen. Well done. If anybody's wondering about Alex's pictures, he told me that he was going to send them all to me. So, oh yeah, yeah. I, I did. <laughs> this, this is secretly Alex, our way of getting free commissions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to do what you got to do. It's fine. I, I... <laughs> Uh, one for Kev, two for Kev. <laughs> oh, I think we're both mad. Kev, Triple T. I like Triple T. Right then, there, what we've got next, guys? Right. So, um, Efren, you mentioned uh, the, the Exorcist earlier. Yes. So you would say that's something you'd be interested in seeing the... The guy is strong. Yeah, like that, that movie just oh, see, even just looking at this just bothers me. But yes. yeah. <laughs> so guys, <laughs> this, this weekend. weekend, Linda Blair from The Exorcist. Is that something? Mm -hmm. I tell you, Efren, you're going hard mode for them. When you said this one, I was like, oh, that's tough. That's a toughie, but we'll see. Yeah. We'll throw it at them. So I'll give us a, a minute before I start the the clock. Should we give her more than five minutes? A little bit more, like seven? You think? Yeah, I mean, we'll just wait. We'll just wing it. We'll see how long it takes us to yeah, get we'll to our, yeah. our topic. You know, um, no, this is, we'll stuff. give him one minute. Yeah, one minute. <laughs> <laughs> you got two strands of hair. Yeah, it's it's my. I think my experience of this movie is ruined by the fact I saw Scary Movie Two first. Yeah, I saw the kind of the Joe kind of scenes about it. Um, same thing. I think it's the same thing. With Scream actually as well. I think they're doing a reboot of this movie. I think I heard somewhere. I've got to hope not. They yeah. did a show, didn't they, a couple of years ago? Yeah, yeah. It was good yeah, I've heard that was that was supposed to be really good, apparently. Um, mm. just didn't seem to yeah. off. Right, I will start the timers. I hear markers. Oh. There we go. So, Efren, you uh, you mentioned this is one of your. Uh, we were talking about the kind of uh, horror movies, like, but like scariest scenes you've ever seen. This is definitely up there for you. Yeah, you know, this one always just. Um, even just looking at this now, you know, especially when I think sometimes it pops in my head at night, you know, and I'm by myself. I'm like, oh, Lord. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's such an incredible design. Like, it's scary and it's gross. And I think a lot of the kind of the, the imagery of that movie in particular is, is amazing. But um, is, um, on the topic of uh, scary scenes, you also mentioned now, this is from a Netflix series, isn't it? A Haunting on yeah, Hill House? Yeah. Yes. This is another oh, yeah. show that I've seen on Netflix and I. I regretted watching it when I first started watching it, but I had to see it through and I kind oh my Lord, this show is scaring the crap out of me. This is one scene where the two sisters on the side, they're, they're in their car and I forgot what they were exactly talking about, but the sister in the middle, she passed away, but she pops out in the back of the seat of the car. Like, and I was like, oh Lord. I can just, I can almost hear this picture. I've not seen this show, but I can hear this picture almost like how did you go back and, and re-watch it, Efren, at the end? Because um, if you do a Google of it, there are ghosts and creatures spread throughout the entire series yeah. just stand in the background and things. Yeah, you I, think see. That to I, me. I, I love that kind of stuff. And actually, yeah. like, um, one of my one of my pictures, um, <clears throat> we'll, we'll touch on that. But yeah, um, this is one I need to watch, I think. I've heard so many Very good. about it. There yeah. was oh. a season number two, and I said, nope, I'm not going to watch <laughs> it. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I said, I'm done, <laughs> you know. Yeah. And then um, Jaws, you mentioned this this shot from Jaws. I, I would absolutely agree. Like Jaws, you know, oh. suspense for a lot of it. But this yeah. made me jump out of my seat the first time I watched Jaws when I was like eight or something. Yeah, I was a kid also when Jaws first came out in the 70s. And this scene when um, I think it was Richard Dreyfus, he goes underwater to yep. look at the yep. boat that sunk and there was a hole in it and he gets close to it and the, then the head just pops right. out. I was scared to go into the ocean when this movie came out i've read oh, yeah. that you know sharks can go like ankle deep or knee deep in the yeah. ocean i said forget it 
I am not going in the water for a while, you know. It's, I, it's, I don't it, go it, into it, the water because of jellyfish, actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I got to tell you this Jaws story. The um, So the first time I saw Jaws, it was on TV, and I was, uh, I was just a kid, right? And um, I, you know, we, I live in New England, so we'd go to Cape Cod all the time as a kid. And so we're in Cape Cod, like down the down the road from, you know, where this is all happens. And um, where I'm watching on TV and uh, it's right as the, uh, the kid gets killed. Right. And if you remember, it's Alex Kittner. My name's Alex. Okay. And so it's a scene. He just gets gobbled up and some other going, Alex, Alex. And you see the bloody <laughs> rap. Now I'm like, Oh my God. My mother walks in at that point, hits the TV to turn it off. Says, all right, let's go. We're going to the beach. I'm like, yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah no one else. No one else. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Funny how, like, like, yeah. There's, there's not that many examples of like a movie causing that widespread panic about something. Like, just sharks became, like, you know, terrifying to people after it. Yeah. But, um, oh yeah. So those are your kind of scariest kind of movies, or I think I have a couple as well. Um, Scream Two for a really long time was my favorite Scream movie. It's only kind of recently I rewatched the first one in the cinemas, and I think I've, that's edged out for me. But I still think it's the scariest in the series. And there's a couple of scenes. I remember watching when I was like uh, probably eight or nine, but there's a bit where uh, have you, you have not seen these movies, Zach, have you? I've seen Scream like the series. first three um, movies yeah. of Scream, but ever since then, you know, I dropped off. I haven't seen them. You guys yeah. are telling me to, to go watch them, but I just haven't, you know. So th there's the sequence where Ghostface is like chasing Gail and she's like j just barely moving out of the way and he turns the corner and stuff. It's really oh. tense and there's like this soundproof booth. Um, Mm -hmm. involved in that so that i've always found that scary but this scene of uh right. they, they're in the car and it crashes and sydney has to climb ghost face is knocked out and she has to climb over and it's just like one of those kind of you have to hold your breath when you're watching it yeah. moments so like that's one i really really love as well i think scream um, 2 is probably my favorite actually james out of them all I, I would put it's almost on par with the first one i think for me um yeah. The excellent, excellent movie. Definitely, definitely the scariest, I would say. But um, Halloween H2O is another one I kind of watched quite young. <laughs> and there's this scene of um, this woman in like a truck stop, like restroom, and the, he comes in the door and she's peeking at him through the through the slit in the door. And it's just uh, it terrified me. And I don't think I want to use public toilets for, well, nobody wants to use public toilets, but I kind of stick clear of them for a very long time because of this. <laughs> Yeah, meant to be the person like I love them. They're the best. Like <laughs> that smell, that smell. Yeah, yeah, oh, oh, forget about urinal cakes. I mean, <laughs> when you need them, when you need them, they're good. You can't, you know. There's no. Uh, that's that's a very good point. There's no getting away from it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then um, yeah, uh, Insidious is that one you've seen? Oh, that's a tremendous. No, I haven't seen that one. So this is um. I would say the most scared I've ever been in the cinemas. Um, yeah. and it's like the, it's one of the earliest horror movies I saw in the cinemas. Um, but it's it's from James Wan, so he also did The Conjuring, and The Conjuring are kind of very much in the same vein. But there's like two shots, like this one on the left here, is the first time you see kind of this demonic entity, and it's literally just a normal table scene. It just cuts back, and it's there, and this is like screeching noise, and it's just like I jumped out of my seat. And then on the right here. Um, is one of those kind of like you blink and you miss it moments where this well, the woman, yeah. the wife is walking through the doing the laundry room and you just see this kid in the corner facing the wall. And I remember seeing it and I like tapped my friend on the shoulder. I was like, did you see, did you see that kid in the corner? He's like, what? No, I didn't see anything. And I started doubting myself. Did I actually see that? Or was it just like an umbrella stand or something? <laughs> um, and then later there's a bit of payoff to that. So I was like, Oh, I did see it. But yeah, it's just a really freaky, Ah, terrifying movie. And I think James Wan's like, yeah, you know, the Insidious movies, the Conjuring movies, like just hit hit something in me. You know, like they're so scary, I don't even want to watch them sometimes. Um, <laughs> so you're which, like me, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just for these, well, ghost. Like I've never had a problem with slashes, but ghost movies like freak me out. For, um, for some reason, even though slashes exist and ghosts might not. You know? um, and then I can't, can't mention things that terrify me as a kid without talking about Hocus Pocus. <laughs> um, uh, I had um, after seeing this movie when I was probably six I had about a year of night terrors every single oh, night no. I started about my these, son at five what have I about done these, <laughs> about these witches like sniffing sniffing looking for me in my house and stuff and I like, literally couldn't go to bed I think I was brought to like a psychologist and stuff like it was proper no, really? yeah 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 um, 
<laughs> yeah. So like, you. and in retrospect, it's like the stupidest movie like ever. Like it's <laughs> obviously cheese and kid, it's a kids movie. But like, yeah, I don't know. I could watch Scream. I could watch Halloween. But the Sanderson sisters are just too scary for me. So uh, <laughs> I, I remember. Um, we'll get that second one. <laughs> <laughs> I remember stumbling wrong. upon um, Brian using his society when I was a kid, and it was on uh, like well, Channel Four late at night. I don't know if you've ever seen Society, but there's yeah. a scene. Yeah. I think they call it the, the orgy scene. Oh, yeah, oh, they yeah, shouldn't. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they shouldn't. Yeah. Yeah. There's a bit like, uh, that uh, in Crimson Cage that I totally ripped off of Society. But it's, I, I was like, I yeah. had like that like scene like over here, and I was like, all right, yep, and thanks, fellas. I will use that right now. <laughs> there is a scary YouTube video. Peter told me about it. It's about a minute long. Peter, if you remember, put the link. It's that light one with the oh with yeah, the light. yeah. It was That's... part of it. Um... Oh yeah, the with like the hallway, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Superb. Yeah. That scared the bejesus out of me. And I, Peter, sent it to me. I, go, I don't know if I want to watch it. It was only a minute long, like that. I went, oh god. <laughs> 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 right, guys, you've had. Uh... Just over eight minutes, so I think we'll call it uh, call it now. All right, yep. righty. So who do we start with? Poker faces. GP. Yeah. Show us all you have. Put some vomit on it. <laughs> that is fantastic. I love that. Uh, Kev. Oh, that was... Nice. Oh, wow. Oh, that's oh. Cool. Oh. Awesome. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Pete? Oh. I feel dead. Ah, oh, that's, there you that's go. not bad at all. What are you talking about? There you go, Pete. She looks more cuddly yeah, than right. scary. Oh, there you go. <laughs> James. So there's a story to this one, all right? Because I can't really draw well, faces, but, you know, girls or, or female faces, so this is just after she's been sick. <laughs> <laughs> Loophole, but I like it. <laughs> we'll allow it, yeah. Very good. <laughs> and uh, Alex. Oh, yeah. Uh, she goes, cutie. Oh, oh, my God. Wow. That's oh, amazing, man. <laughs> So good. You're a napkin. Yeah. Uh, just uh, from the chat, a few kind of uh, things mentioned. Haunted in the Hill House. Uh, <laughs> and I'm I love this. So we paid a homeless person to buy our movie tickets for Scream 3. That's a uh, serious <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. thing. Me out. Uh, Cujo. Oh, Cujo. Uh, that's very, very yeah, Cujo Evil Dead remake. I, I never really found Evil Dead remake, remake to be scary. I think it's cool. No, it's it's really okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good film. Um, have any of you played this at the PT? Um, no. Pete, have you? Do you know this? No, Are you familiar no. with this? No. What was this? GP. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So this this was, um, you know, Silent Hill? You yeah. Silent Hill? yeah. So this was like, um, it's like a playable demo, like not even a demo. It's like a, it's called PT, it's a playable teaser. And it's by the guy who did, um, he did Metal Gear Solid, Hideo Kojima. Oh, yes, yeah. And it's, oh, yeah. it's literally, you're just walking, it's a first person thing, you're just walking through the hallway and it's a looping hallway and every time you go through it, something changes and it like it escalates and it gets scary and scary. One of the most terrifying like experiences I've ever had going through that. Because um, you don't have any weapons or anything, you just turn the corner and there might be this floating woman down the end of the hall and you have to like go through it, she just run at you. Um, but the game actually ended up getting like it was a, just a demo for Silent Hills, and then Silent Hills got cancelled, and it kind of got turned into Death Stranding. Um, we were supposed to start Norman Reedus, so yeah. uh, that's a really good show. I think one of the scariest like gaming experiences ever. That was pretty cool. Yeah. So nice. that is that. Is that. Uh, have to hold them up for the yeah, for a screen grab. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah no. Pull it back over. Here we go. <laughs> 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 Super, super. Yeah, 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 this one. Uh, that one. <laughs> right. right, so. So I think uh, it's safe to assume that I picked this one, um, Peter and Asad. I would like. Oh, a clicker. A clicker. I knew. So, it. Everybody watching The Last of Us, are we? Yeah. Uh, I've seen I it. haven't seen it yet. Oh, where's that? Uh, is that one here? 
Yeah, so uh, I, I I was a, uh, my wife uh, came up with an idea to draw a Toad for Mario as one of these guys. So I just drew that's a awesome, Toad yeah. as like a zombie. Just <laughs> like, ah. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I'll leave this um, up here for a minute. Now, if you want, you can choose a bloater, which is like a variation of a, a clicker if you want to, but this is probably more straightforward. So, um, yeah. And I'll give you my address at the end of the show. You can send me these. I'll put them in a while. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> So I'll give you a minute. Huh. That's a cool design, you know? Ama amazing. Like, breathtaking. Yeah. Like, one of the coolest like, creature designs in any kind of uh, game at the time, definitely. Yeah. So, so the thing with, like, uh, games and all that, uh, the last game I played, like, sat down and really got into, was uh, Sonic and Knuckles in 96. <laughs> Yeah, really. Uh, yeah, so I, I, I'm never, I'm not much of a game. I'm, I'm not much. I'm not a gamer at all. Yeah, but um, but I mean, yeah, it's, but yeah, and that was the thing. I didn't even know this was a video game until I kind of just hey. started, like looking it up. I'm like, oh, that's great. It's um, it's actually from the studio that made Crash Bandicoot, like creating oh, Crash yeah? Bandicoot back in the, on the PS1. Yeah, and then they did like, oh, Jack right. and Daxter and Uncharted and um, Naughty Dog, they called. But yeah, fantastic. Yeah. All right, so we will start the timer <laughs> now. I uh, Let's see these guys. yeah. So Efren, you have a, a few questions. Just you're an inquisitive guy, and there's a yeah. few things you want wanted to ask Alex about. Alex, if this was a in regular interview, I think Peter and I would be asking you questions like for hours on end. But I had a quick qu a couple of questions. Sure. Um, when you collaborate with the uh, writer, how much input do you have? Do you guys go back and forth, or you know? Or does he just write it and you just he sends you what he wrote and then you just go from there? Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, we'll talk. We'll talk all throughout it. So what we'll do is, um, like for this one, like for Road of Bones, he got up. Um, like Rich will send me the script and um, and each page will be like you know panel. Like for this one, it'll be like panel one. Guys uh, shoveling uh, coal or rocks or whatever he is, and uh, he's not doing too good. And this uh, soldier's coming up. He's not happy about it. And panel two, he's kind of getting weak. He's trying to keep up, but here comes the soldier. And mm -hmm. panel four, uh, panel three. I mean, uh, he's now yelling at him. Um, and uh, so yeah, so what I'll do is kind of figure out all right, where are we, what are we looking at? Where's the, where basically like where's the camera set, uh, set up? And um, and like you know what they like, what they get, what everybody looks like, what they're wearing, time of day, all that type of stuff. Um, and um, but yeah, and then what I'll do whenever I finish the page, I'll send the black and white art to uh, Rich or John or just or you know whoever. And just be like, here it is. Uh, let me know what you think. If there's any changes you want to make, let me know and that type of thing. But um, yeah, with uh, normally it's it's pretty like yeah, great, good. It looks good. Let's keep going. And I, um, so yeah, so I'm you know, trying to think of what else I can tell you about this one. But uh, yeah, it doesn't involve that guy in the middle. <laughs> it's a tremendous storyline yeah. that one. One of my yeah. favorites. Oh yeah, actually. yeah. This was uh, this was one when uh, Rich told me this idea for it. I was like. Yeah, I, you know anything I can do to be involved with this. See, yeah, because this was yeah. some this one like I'll go I'll go buy this book. Like I don't even have to yeah. be a part of it. This this just sounds like a blast. And um, in, um, in Breath of Shadows, I just read um, the first uh, issue. How long does it take? Like from the beginning when you get the plot and everything, how long does it take for a book to be finished? Because you know, did, um, did, do the publishers need it like a month in advance or just a couple of weeks in advance? Oh no! It'll be like uh, so like the first issue of that. I think I started last summer, okay. and uh, so they like they give me a ton of a ton of like the, by the time the first issue was out, I was like in the middle of issue like the last issue, issue five. Okay, and um, but like normally you get like about a month, and oh. uh, and for my sake, like I'll 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 like uh, you know I'll do the pencils and the inking and and I'll do the coloring too. And um, and I'll I'll get some help too. Like uh, like my wife will jump in and do like the flats, and then I'll come in and do like the uh, like the special effects and lighting and like uh, like yeah, on this page, like you see, like he's got like uh, little like pink on his cheeks and uh, cheeks and uh, lighting on top of his head and all that type of stuff and uh, all special effects. And um, so yeah, so it's about a month. So is your wife an artist as well, Alex? What's that? Is your wife an artist? As oh well? yeah, yeah. We met in uh, we met in art school. Oh, right. Oh, nice. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I went to yeah. So we went to uh, school in Boston, and uh, I was studying animation, and she was doing uh, like uh, basically studying to be an art teacher. So she was, but she was going through like uh, graphic design. She's going through sculpture. 
uh, wow. illustration. Uh, she's she could do it all. It's amazing. And um, like it was one of those like I thought I was pretty good at sculpture, and then I saw what she was doing. I'm like, oh god, no, no you, you, <laughs> you win this round. All right. But uh, yeah, so um, yeah, but yeah, we she's an artist as well, which is great because I can be like, hey, what does this look like, or like, what am I doing wrong with this? Like, I don't know, whatever. Which, uh, Alex, nuts because she's yeah. like, I don't care. The hand looks fine. <laughs> but, Alex, uh, you you've mostly worked on like original kind of uh, storylines. I'm curious, yeah. is there like a particular character or like a license that you'd really love to work on a comic book for, like uh, like a movie franchise if they were doing a tie-in or something like that? Oh, I, if so, if I was gonna do one that was like had to do with like an actual movie, um, like you said, it'd have to be Indiana Jones. That's, I mean, that's yeah. my all-time favorite, and uh, I would, I would give my left leg to do an Indiana Jones story. That'd be great. Hmm. But, um, but other than that, like, uh, like some, uh, like as far as like you know, like big two, like superheroes, like you know, um, yeah, I don't know. There, there's, there's a, there's a bunch that I would like, but. Like when it, when it comes down to it, like what I'm doing now is I'm happy doing this, like the creator own stuff. Like uh, I don't have anybody being like, yeah, well, like this, what's up on the screen now? I don't have anybody be like, ah, he doesn't wear a cap like that. It's normally like a this type of thing. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, but I mean, you know, don't get me wrong. If I get a call from DC uh, later saying we want you to draw Batman, I'm going to be drawing Batman. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, how, um, well, yeah. As far as anybody else, I mean, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. There's a, there's a bunch of guys I'd love to draw. It'd just be fun. I have a couple of, a couple of more questions. How's your comic book convention scene looking to nowadays? You going to San Diego by any chance this summer? I'm, I'm hoping to be in San Diego. Um, yeah, I haven't. Uh, I figured things out with everything. I, I've been dragging my feet. It's, it's yeah. I've been terrible this year. So uh, like this entire the first everything up to now, I was like thinking Breath of Shadows get this done, and. Um, and at the same time, I'm like, oh yeah, I'll sign up for conventions and all that later. And mm -hmm. of course, like because I was planning on being in, like in Seattle, I was planning on being in Chicago, I was yeah. planning on doing all this stuff. And then, uh, and I was like, oh yeah, I'll sign up for that later. And then next thing I know, I'm like, oh, uh, that's this this weekend, and I kind of missed the deadline tonight. So, um, so I'm hoping to be in San Diego. Uh, if any of them, though, I'll definitely be in uh, New York. Nice. And, um, uh, I know I John and I were talking about heroes, but I don't know what's going on with that right now. But yeah. uh, as far as right now, the, the only show I got that's that I will definitely be at no matter what is New York. Okay. But, uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully San Diego. That'd be great. If, yes, I, San Diego is I the first the first time I was there was last year, and um, and yeah, it's had a ball. It was a ton of fun for the food alone. If you go to San Diego this year, reserve a spot for me. Just letting so you know, I live in San Diego. All right. We're commission. I'm already reserving my spot with you, okay? It's just ahead of oh, time. You got it. <laughs> and I have a, one more question. You're a baseball fan? My baseball fan? Yeah. Uh, after 2004, not really. Okay. Because, like, once, uh, so once the Sox won in uh, yeah. 2004, I kind of was like, we did it. We're done, and like I know a ton of Red Sox fan be like, "Ah, you're not a real fan, all that." And that's fine. Yeah. Like, um, I, like my brother, I have an older brother who's like five years older who's a hardcore sports fan, and I'm kind of like, uh, "Oh yeah, that's the one with the knitted ball, right?" But uh, I, I feel the same way. I'm a San Francisco Giant fan. When they first yeah. won 2010, the World Series, it was like yeah. a sense of relief that they finally won in my lifetime. I was able to see them win. And, oh yeah, know, well more after that. But I, I I remember the Sox series. I think that it was the first one or the second one they won when they were down um three games to zero against the Yankees. And yep. they won four in a row when Dave Roberts stole second base. That was the turning point of that series. I remember that. I was I mean so my, my, my brother had tickets for that. Uh my brother had tickets for game four with, oh, uh, wow. against the Yankees, and nobody, including myself, would go with them. Because everybody was like, I don't want to go and see the Yankees sweep the Sox. And especially not the Yankees for crying out. No, no, I'm fine. So, and he's a diehard fan. He, you know, he'll go no matter what. And he was like, he got, he finally got his buddy to go with him. Um, but uh, yeah, he was, uh, he was, I got to give him credit. He was the one that was like, yeah, no matter what, uh, I'm, I'm there. And I was like, I got better things to do. <laughs> but, Guys, uh, I, and, um, well, yeah, like, uh, so yeah, he went to that with the, you know, the socks and all that. And yeah, they they swept the, if I remember they took in the titles. I'm, 
Yeah, might be. I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure they swept, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember I'm, I was I'm in the uh, baseball fan. What's that? I'm a big baseball fan. So I'm gonna have to ask you about the Red Sox. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and I was gonna say I'm from uh, being from here. I'm also a big Patriots fan. <laughs> oh yeah. But I know uh, everybody hates them, so well, whatever. <laughs> anyway, they always hate teams that are starting. You know, that have a dynasty. I'm a Golden oh, State yeah. Warriors fan. You know, I grew up in San Francisco. Yeah. You know, they won four. And at the beginning, yeah. it was like, oh, my God, you know, they're so innovative. But now they're, like, tired of them. You know, people are just yeah. – like, when, when a team starts winning a lot, you know, they just, you know, go against Oh, I'll them. tell you, I, I hope they keep winning forever. But um, yeah. because I, I remember when, like, uh, like my brother had a funny story with that when, uh, like, we were kids. We'd be flipping through, like, a, a, a Macy's catalog or Sears catalog. They'd show all the, like, the sports stuff. And in the corner, it would say little letters – also included New England Patriots and like two other teams. And we were just excited that we were even mentioned <laughs> because like we like stunk. And uh, like, I remember going to the games like with Bledsoe and all that uh, yeah. back then. And, and yeah, going through all those years where they were terrible. And so in my head, all these teams are still terrible because like uh, once I got to college and then I kind of like really stopped paying attention. I got into, you know, trying to get a job. So like, even like this year, I don't even know. I don't even know what I even ha- what even happened this year. I don't even know who's playing or anything. But um, so yeah, so up to 2004, I I know a few things, but then after that, it's a little fuzzy. <laughs> yeah, if, uh, Bledsoe had not been hurt during the preseason. I think it was uh, Harrison, Ronnie Harrison, hit him. Um, yep. You yeah. you don't know what would have happened. You know, he owns a winery now. I know that. You know, I oh, is that what he's doing? He he does. I see him on sports talk shows, and he always talks about you know he has a winery now. I'm not yeah. sure where it's located, but um, but yeah, that's what he started doing afterwards. He seems to have really good wine. I always talk about it when I see him on. <coughs> I gotta check that out. What's what's the wine? Has, have stay lost still in, what's that? Have yeah, lost we lost James. That's come on ad living a little bit too. Oh. <laughs> you know, yeah. to <laughs> um, I think we've probably yes. had a long time. Have we? Have we had yeah. Long? So when, uh, we've got over ten when, minutes. So when uh, Bledsoe got hurt. <laughs> So Sorry? when that happened, when like Bledsoe got hurt and everything, yeah. so, and my, so my dad is, uh, again, like er, everybody in my family is like a huge sports fan. And I'm like the like the lowest rung of sports fan, of uh-huh. everybody. And like, I like it, but they're like, they know the stats. They know this guy, this guy, where he went to this. And I was like, do they, they won? Great. Oh, they won. All right. Sure. Yeah. Um, but uh, I remember my dad being so frustrated when that happened. He, uh, it, we give we rag him all the time about this because he got up. It all upset and it's like, oh, that's just fantastic. Yeah, who's gonna save us now? Tom Brady, Jesus Christ, he's stupid. <laughs> and he stormed out of the room, and yeah, he became Tom Brady. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he had a great run. Um, oh, yeah. Tom Brady did for all these years. I sometimes it doesn't happen often, but sports, you know, athletes they always go to another team eventually. And I hated seeing him go. I wish he would have ended his career. Yeah, you know, it. like. I, I, it would have been nice if he retired as uh well he might come back again you know yeah. so so if he does it, but yeah it was uh it was it, part of me was like hey listen you gave us a bunch whatever <laughs> go get some sunshine that's fine six championships mm-hmm. yeah. right chaps sorry to interrupt but i think we better show what we're images james has disappeared i'm sure he'll be back as soon as he can okay. um so shall we start with jp yeah Hang on, JP, let us meet you. Oh, superb. Oh, that's Love great. It. Yeah, that's awesome. Nice. Very, very cool. Very cool. Kev, show what you've got. I don't know what a clicker does, so I've just been <laughs> clicking. <laughs> <laughs> very cool. Very cool. Very cool yeah. What do you mean? Have you not watched any of The Last of Us? No, not watched it. Never played the game. I'm waiting to watch it. So well, I'll get it all it. in one chunk. Well, yeah, watched it. Very, yeah. very good. Very yeah. good. Um, James, let's see what you've got, mate. Oh, that's great. Oh, oh yeah. cool, James. Cool. Very cool. I like that. <laughs> very, very good. And Alex, let's have a look. Well, I got distracted, so I I, I <laughs> whip this one real quick. <laughs> very cool. I, 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 get you. I, I started doing this one, uh, but uh, that's as far as I got. And then we yeah. started, got started. <laughs> super, super, super. <laughs> very <laughs> cool. Sure, which, is, which made everybody watching an art show was super excited to hear about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, keep talking um, about sports in the next one. Too. Yeah. Just, yeah. You know, yeah. That, that <laughs> I think this would have been bigger. I think that's not bad. Oh, that's great. Oh, wow. Yeah, very cool. Yeah. It's not bad. 
That's yeah, good. Happy with that one. Okie dokie. Efren, did you have the last round or was it James? Yeah, it was James that had the last round. I'm not sure what he was going to pick. So let me think of something here to uh, pick. Um, and it has to be horror related, correct? Horror related. Oh, gosh. Um, From your okay, vast since, knowledge of horror. <laughs> yeah. Since James is, is in here, I'm not sure what his fourth pick is. Just at the top of my head, I'm going to do an easy one for you guys. Um, why don't we draw a zombie? You know, any Ooh. genre from The Walking Dead, Night of the Living Dead, whatever you feel is, is the best zombie. James, I'm sorry if this is not your pick, but we're going to do zombies for the last um, draw. From That's uh, Kev's so 40, right. that. <laughs> no, stop talking about hockey. <laughs> yeah. And, um, yeah. Yeah, distract Alex with some kind of... Let me... Um, it, was, it was some more trivia. <laughs> Uh, Kevin, I mean, Kevin, Alex, have you ever, um, if you have, I apologize, but have, have you ever drawn for Marvel or DC? Have they ever reached out to you guys, to you? Uh, I haven't, re- no, I haven't done anything with the, uh, the big two uh, yeah. yet, and that's fine. It's incredibly um, hard to get into the big two, but isn't it? I think the, the, the oh, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, I mean, you know, uh, I, you know, that, yeah, it, it's, uh, yeah, they're tricky, but um, I've started at the, the same, at, at the same time for my own say like i haven't tried as hard as i probably should have or should have or should be um but um yeah not yet it's very restrictive aren't they is that you know you don't have as i mean i would imagine at the moment you've got a lot of creative control and freedom and that's i mean that's the thing because um which is great because yeah every time i'm jumping on a story it's uh like uh like for example like uh, uh sync uh when we did mr dig like uh, a lot of that idea was John. John was like, "All right, I want to do it with a fox mask. I want to learn like Under Armour, like uh, yeah. like a shirt. Uh, he's got a shovel, uh, boots, and pants, and go at it." And I just, I think I drew me. I, I might have drawn him like once or twice, and I'm like, "It's kind of like this." And he's like, "Perfect, let's go." Yeah. And um, so yeah, so like uh, yeah, jumping on there, kind of just like the freedom with that. I mean, you know, it's you can't take it for granted. It's, it's the best. I love it. Yeah. Um, I'm, I must say, growing up, um, when I first started collecting comic books, I said I lived in the San Francisco Bay Area. What first drew me to comic books was, of course, the artwork on the cover of each comic book. That's what drew me. And then it was just become a lifelong passion of mine. I've been collecting since over 50 years of comic books. And I was introduced to you, Alex, um, through Peter, because we do a monthly, uh, we pick monthly books. And every two or three months, he picks, it seems like he picks one of your books. That's what, you, your, <laughs> that's what first introduced me to your artwork. And I'm I'm glad that he did, because there's so many artists out there that you just can't know about everyone, you know. Sure, yeah, yeah. You know, but he introduced me to you and I started reading Sync. I just started reading the uh last book. What was the name of Beyond oh, uh, uh, Breath of Shadows? Breath of Shadows. Yeah. Like I said, I read the one, you know, and I went, okay, this is an interesting topic. And Peter and I, we both said more than once that indie books have especially mm-hmm drawn our attention within the last five or so years more than marvel or dc because marvel and dc have like 60 years of history that you have to follow but sure when it comes yeah. to indie books you're basically drawing and writing on a clean slate you can go anywhere you want to which i find fascinating you know yeah i mean and it's yeah you can kind of do whatever you want with these guys like yes. uh you know if uh like killing off a character is you know that means they're dead. There's no, I'm, I'm, like, I mean, you, but you can do whatever you like with them. And um, yeah. it's just, yeah, the freedom with it is great. And uh, you, you get some really interesting stories out there, you know? Mm. And that's a great thing nowadays is uh, you've got, uh, you got some options out there that you can put this stuff out. Yes. And, uh, and, and, and not only that, but eyes will get on it. And uh, cause I mean, there's so many independent stuff that has been put out, especially in other media, uh, media of like, movies and tv that have just blown up so now everybody's like oh well like is this not just superheroes like what else is out there you know yeah, yeah. and um and it's great you know it's uh i've i, I got lucky i jumped in like right at the right moment for the <laughs> creator own stuff you know is, and, is there um, any, i'm sorry is there any advice you or kevin can give to people who have um who are starting off in the business or trying to get their foot in the door I, I would ask Alex because I'm still in the way of trying to get my foot in the door. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Uh, uh, no, so, all right. The, uh, the, uh, the advice I'll always give is, um, right, so anybody who wants to be a comic book artist, um, uh, this is what you got to do. You got to sit down, you got to draw, uh, take like, uh, maybe six pages for a portfolio or something like that, maybe. And, but each one, take it as a, like, don't draw just one story, right? Uh, draw a, a page that would be like in the middle of a story and just make it up. But do one that's like a sci-fi something like, you know, uh, like some, like somebody being chased by some like an alien or so what you want to do is do like a sci-fi one. So you can show you to draw like uh, a sci-fi universe, do a, like a, an action thing, do a superhero thing, do a horror thing, do a, uh, you know, romance, draw, make sure you have old characters, kids, animals, uh, vehicles, uh, different settings, you know, throw, throw, have something in the desert, have something in a jungle, have something on Pluto or whatever, you know. Um, but so that way, and just have a page showing this because whenever you're showing your portfolio to anybody, I nobody's gonna sit down and want to read an entire story, they just want to see can they draw, like, we need someone to draw a like tanks or whatever. Can this kid draw tanks? And, oh, that's kind of like a tank, it's close enough. All right, you're hired. So if you're getting started, do that. Just have like maybe six, eight, 12 pages, but each one have its own thing. That way you can show off that, hey, I can do plenty of stuff. And in that one page, try to tell a little story in that, you know, like have one where it's like they start off here, something happens, they have to react to it. And then that reaction, you know, like do it inside of uh, like five or six panels. And I right. uh, like, don't worry about splash pages. Splash pages can come later. Don't worry about covers unless you really want to be a cover artist. But uh, show that you can tell a story in five or six panels and show it in different genres. Nice. That's what, what are you just out of interest? Because I know Kev's got some views on it. <clears throat> what do you think of this kind of change in AI artwork at the moment? That seems to oh, be. Oh, I don't like all it. Over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Especially, like I said, is someone trying to start off? Um, yeah, so I've, got, I've yeah. had a few illustration jobs in that, but I mean, when like companies clock on and go, I don't have to pay anyone to do this anymore. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm a bit worried about. <laughs> I was going to ask Alex, how did you go about? How do you go about getting your portfolio in front of people? Because I know they say cons and that, but over here, I yeah, can't think right, of right. having like American companies over here. We have 2000 AD, and that's yeah. that's about yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> um i hate to say that yeah it, it was cons that's what i did um so uh because what i did was uh i i did what i just told you guys and uh and then i made like a little like drop off of like uh um of like a little book that i kind of made up and um but um so what i did yeah i went around cons and i just basically and it was specifically new york comic con and obviously not around new york or you know one of these big places uh, this is not going to help too much, but, um, yeah. Well, uh, so what I did was I basically just walked around saying, hi, I can draw. Who's got a job. <laughs> um, and, uh, anybody, anybody out there? And, uh, I remember, yeah, uh, with New York, um, uh, doing that, I talked to every, uh, publisher I could, I could walk around and meet and everybody said no, except for one. And that was a uh, bliss on tap. And, uh, they're like, actually, we got this book, uh, future proof that, uh, if you're gay and we need an artist for it, and I'm like, ah, yeah. <laughs> okay. And, um, and, and uh, I've been working with those. I'm still working with those guys. And um, <laughs> here's a story. <laughs> who, who was on my side? <laughs> Am I Jan? I don't know. <laughs> Jan um, so, but, uh, but other than that, I mean, yeah, I would try to dig up uh, writers and all that. And, um, because I mean, writers are always looking for people, and uh, and God, I mean, to be a writer, I don't know how you do it. That's uh, that's the hardest gig of all. And because I mean, yeah. with an artist, you can show it off, and you know right away, like if it's any good or not. And uh, but like a writer, you have to like actually make the person sit down and read sentences. And I mean, that's. <laughs> like, hey guys, I think we've done more than five minutes. James, can you? It seems okay. Seems like James is back. I have no, I have no control yeah. over. Because I'm on my phone now. Because my oh, phone just crapped out. Oh, we are done. I have no, I have no control <laughs> over like the anything. So you'll have to take over there. Have to... You have Ready the power here? reference. All right. Oh, I have the power. Um, <clears throat> okay, we'll go to GP first. What do you got, GP? 
Oh, very nice. There you go. Very nice. Cool. Yeah. Good stuff. What Good is, stuff. What is Kev, is just make up your own. Oh, I, I stuck with my Viking uh, zombies. <laughs> stunning, Kev. Absolutely stunning. Hey, hey, Peter, can you hear me? Yeah. We should let Alex go last since I basically took up all this time drawing. Yay. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no worries. I got it. And done. There we go. There. James. <laughs> oh, okay. um, so, so I went with the most zombie like non zombie from a zombie movie. So I've gone with Johnny from Medieval Living Dead. Winner right there. <laughs> <laughs> Not even when he becomes a zombie later. It's <laughs> very cool. Oh, that was a stylish tie, right? That polka dot yeah, tie. Very stylish. He was. I mean, <laughs> he was he was going out that night. He had plans. Mm -hmm, he did. <laughs> uh, we'll do mine next. Nice. Mine looks a bit nice. there. We, we we had the same picture. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've gone a bit Simpsons. I think. I'm not sure what's going on. There. I don't mind. Um, same reference. Yeah. Yeah. Batman Bale yeah. all over again. Yeah, Batman Bale all over again. <laughs> and then we'll jump to Alex. Let's see. All right. I, I just did this like while, as we we're talking. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Phenomenal. Absolutely superb. Brilliant. Okay, guys. So that's all four rounds. What we're going to do now is, James, I don't know if you want to use the last one that you had. Um, I'm going to jump off just for a few minutes to get all the images from the people who sent stuff in. And James will talk you through the... Have you got access to the slides, James? Or not? No, but I, I remember what it was anyway. Uh, well, so I, I can put the, yeah, but I can put the yeah, slides up for yeah, the end of the show later just, on. Okay. If you just want to... Um, Efren, I'm sure I'll have lots more sports questions for Alex to distract you. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, I'll be back in a few minutes, ladies and gents. Okay. So One the, of the uh, uh, good things James and I were moderating, this is not our channel. We can say whatever we want to, oh, and we yeah, won't get in trouble. Do <laughs> 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 Right? Uh, uns uncensored. Yeah. Uh, so the last topic is um, slasher villains. All right. So you can do a, a Michael or a Leatherface or a Freddy or a Chucky Ooh. or whatever you want. Um, so some first effort and all that works, putting in the slides... Uh, won't come in handy, but we're, we're going to talk about um, superhero movie fights and what our kind of favorite ones. Oh, yes. All right. Were. So um, I'm just trying to think off the top of my head what my ones were. Um, Daredevil hallway scene. Hmm. That one you're a fan of? Yes. I'm a big fan of that one. The hallway and all his, I think there were three um, seasons with Daredevil, his hallway yeah. scenes when he was going the stairway one. Uh, also, you know, yeah, yeah, it's so great. realistic. That's what I really enjoyed about that Netflix series. And I hope it carries over on Disney Plus. Yeah. The choreography was, I'd imagine they brought the same choreographer back, but it'll yeah. just be a bit more like bombastic, I guess. Um, a little bit less violent. But um, you picked another kind of Daredevil uh, fight sequence, such as Punisher in the prison. Oh, yeah. When, he, when the prisoners attacked him, I go, dang it, man. I think this would be... Obviously, if somebody was in a prison, it'd be all adrenaline filled. And yeah. that man is just on a mission. You know, yeah. he just he won't be stopped. He's like a force of nature, you know, yeah. both in the TV show and in the comic books, you know, his way or the highway. You know, yeah, yeah. John Bernthal was such good casting in the way he yeah. was like Ugh, screaming, like when he's doing those. Yeah. It was so good. And it was like shockingly violent. I remember the, the like the way he shanks some of them. Yeah, just how much blood they used. It was crazy. Like at the time, like Marvel's doing this. It was, it was, um, yeah, uh, yeah, definitely. Um, another kind of violent one you picked, uh, Hit Girl. Hit Girl, first um, Kick Ass. The, yeah, Kick Ass, um, in the uh, first uh, movie when she was in, um, the she went into the office and she fought up against all the mobsters and she just mm -hmm. took them down one by one. Let me say, whenever, whenever there's a fight scene, if there's not good music to go along with it. I don't, yeah. It just would not be the same, you know. Yeah, it just yeah. draws you in when there's music, you know, involved in a good fight scene. Yeah. When you when you told me that one earlier, I remembered I didn't put this in my my slide, but um, the Big Daddy scene in Kick Ass when he's like he's taking over a warehouse. Oh yes, and he's like throwing grenades in the thing and shooting yeah. people and all. It's, just, it's only like forty seconds long, but it, I love yeah. it. I love that one. Um, speaking of warehouse scenes, I think uh, BVS Batman. Fighting oh, the, the in, in the warehouse is definitely up there, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I think that uh that was the like the first one to really capture like comic book Batman 
the way he kind of fights and this bit of influence from the Arkham games um, as well. That one's you're a fan of, Efren. Oh yeah, I mean the of the Batman versus Superman, the fight scenes were to me were top notch. You know, I just yeah. really enjoyed them. I mean, just Batman. I mean, he's only human, but he finds a way. <laughs> you know. So, yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Um, my absolute favorite, though, I think, uh, is in Winter Soldier. So the first time Cap and Winter Soldier fight. Oh yes. So it's like uh, the, it goes from the highway and the car like flips off and he comes through and just like it was the first time I felt watching Cap that oh he might lose this fight like and the, just the kind of the way the the arm moves and how quick it everything is like they're they're throwing three or four moves a second um, and the way like he like goes to stab him and then you hear the arm kind of gear up and shh, it pushes yeah. in and stuff like it was, it was, I remember the cinema just going absolutely crazy. I, I know we've talked about this before, but I think that's the best Marvel movie. I mean, hundred percent. That's it, my kind of big poster yeah. there. That my favorite movie of all time. Yep. Um, yeah, I'd easily put it against any other. So that's a great one. Um, any other stick to my? You mentioned uh, Black Widow versus. <laughs> this was the mistake. Fight scene. Um, too, I didn't have the vi- uh, to show you pictures of it, but when uh, um, Black Widow went in the ring with Happy Harris, with Happy Hogan, yeah, Happy and Hogan, he yeah. just she just took him down like in a matter of seconds. I mean, that's a, that was a fun <laughs> fight yeah, scene. It's like he, these are he's poker with me, and he, he twists it. And, yeah, yeah, I mean, there's so many to pick from, and just top top of my head, that one just you know it was a different type of fight scene, but it was I thought it was hilarious. You know the way yes, and it showed off her fighting skills. You know that she was a force to be reckoned with. Yeah, I'd imagine, like, because, you know, we take it for granted, I think, but a lot of people probably going into that movie wouldn't have thought she was, like, a spy or anything like that. So, yeah, um, yeah to see these kind of crazy moves would have been, would have been a good uh, surprise. Um, one that I really love, again, sort of a comedic tone to it as well, uh, Punisher versus the Russian in the Tom Jane Punisher movie. Oh, wow. Was, when you told me that one, I'm going, I don't remember that from the TV show, but I go, okay. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. you, have you seen, you've seen the, I assume you've seen No, I've never movie. seen that movie. You've never seen it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, you've got to watch that one. It's got yeah. like, like critically, it didn't do very well at the time, but I think people have kind of grown to appreciate it since then. And, uh, Tom Jane was an amazing puncher, like one, one of the best. Um, but yeah, it's, a, it's like this apartment fight. It's in his apartment. And like earlier in the movie, you see him setting like kind of traps and like hiding guns and knives around the place. And so like this, this big Russian, you know, the other Russian from the comics anyway. Yeah. Like the striped shirt. Yeah. So he like comes in and it's just like this, this like Italian opera music playing. And they're like, he's throwing them around the apartment and this like, um, he stabs them and the guy just doesn't do anything or, uh, at all. But it, it's, a, it's a great one. A good comedic one, I think, definitely. What about the I, I, uh, Dolph Lundgren one? <laughs> I've actually never seen. I'm, I'm gonna because we're doing a what if, uh, not what if. You, you uh, and the rest of the world. <laughs> spotlight. We're doing the spotlight on Punisher next, so I'm gonna watch it for that. But I'm actually, yeah, I've never, never seen that one. I think like I would have if he had the skull on his shirt. Oh yeah, like, he's yeah, just like in a, just a jacket, right? I was yeah, gonna just, say uh, you. You don't <laughs> see the skull, but you definitely see his balls. <laughs> If you look at like a lot of uh, whatever, uh, good for you, Dolph. <laughs> it's an absolute classic. It's it's almost as good as the um oh what you call it? the Nick Fury by the guy who did Baywatch. The Hassel Hassel Hassel. Hassel. Oh, Hassel. Yeah. Yeah. They did, oh yeah, they did Nick Fury, Fury yeah. Yeah. It was horrific. I can tell you one fight scene I'm looking forward to, and hopefully it's a good one, is gonna be Deadpool versus Wolverine when that movie comes out. Sure, that Nick Fury page, that Nick Fury film, I don't yeah, know. I was uh, very H-Q. stoned or very drunk when I watched that, but I did enjoy it. And <laughs> 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 um, um, Fuzzy in the chat there is just saying Blade 2. Blade 2 is one of my favorite yeah, movies. Great of one. Time. You know, it was a good one. Um, in Shine Chi on the bus. Yeah. 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 That was very very good. Good yeah. Another good one. How are we doing but, for time, um, guys? Opening scene of Blade 2, the first movie. Oh, in the warehouse. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That was a good one. That was my date movie with my wife the first time we went out in the cinema. <laughs> yeah, I said, Oh, we'll go and see Blade. I think it's about a comic. And that, that's what it opened up to. And she just yeah. looked at us. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> pretty good, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, that, that movie holds up surprisingly well. So oh, yeah. I, yeah. I, I only saw that in the, they replayed it in the cinema here um, a few months ago. And I, I was like, this movie kicks ass. Like, you know, people should talk about it more. 
And Wesley Snipes' performance is very good, isn't it? Yes. Oh, yeah. we're done with this round, then, chaps. Yep. Yeah. Yep. No, I'm not finished. <laughs> Pete, you can go first and show what you've got for the last round, mate. There he is. Oh, nice. tremendous. Oh, <laughs> oh, get the he, caught it. Be. <laughs> he looks cute. You can give him a cuddle, <laughs> can you? Yeah, give him a little uh, down. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, Alex, we'll come to you. All right. Got uh, my buddy uh, Leatherface. There he is. Nice. Ooh, nice. Awesome, <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. It's it's dressed up, right, guys. Got a tie on. If oh, someone right. asked me how long do you think that took, the artist, yeah, yeah. I would have said like two, three hours, like at yeah. least. Days. Yeah. <laughs> Days. <laughs> Days. Yeah, yeah. All that shit. <laughs> Um, James, I, I drew these all like last week. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool, James. Also went for a, a second well-dressed man in a row. So. Yep. <laughs> um, Alex, Especially one of our Manga. viewers, is a huge Leatherface fan. In fact, we oh, went to uh, yeah. we went to Horacon a couple of months ago. Yep. It feels like a few months ago, and he went in full Leatherface cosplay. Oh, it was very it was impressive. Great. Yeah. Very awesome. impressive. Yeah, nice. Um, and last but not least, Kev. Uh, Freddy Krueger oh, with oh, Jack Nicholson oh, awesome. vibes. I love that, man. <laughs> I love it. I love yeah. it. Superb. Absolutely superb. Thank you so much, gentlemen. That has been absolutely brilliant. Um, just before we go, we'll just have a quick look at some of the stuff that the, the viewers have sent in. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, so we had two different kinds of competition. We had people to send in just general images that they spent a bit of time on. And then someone took hot part in the actual competition and ran along. So a few things, first of all. Kyle oh. sent us this. I don't know why. Whoa. I don't know what that's not a drone. That's not odd. I don't know if we're just trying to speak his end. Well, you said it in any form, maybe. It's well, a... yeah. I mean, I'm is pretty convinced that's just said, time, yeah. To be honest, not just sending a selfie, no. Yeah. That's what's under your like, bed. Efren. Sure. Yeah, it's a drawing. Whatever you got to say. <laughs> Efren, that's what's under your bed tonight, mate. It's, uh... <laughs> it's behind you. <laughs> We've got Andy from Perpetual hey, nice. sending in this. This is stunning. Andy's a very talented artist. This is the guy who challenged you, Alex, and then and, um, chickened out. Um, oh, but yeah, but not, not bad at all. He's, he's trying to make it up with Mr. Dig up there, but that won't work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very cool. Um, Fuzzy Dunlop, who is one of our best supporters here, uh, he's always, always um, chipping in. He sent us this. This is an image of a werewolf. Um, and then. The other image next to it, he said, yeah. is the Invisible Man. So, yeah. 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 <laughs> Good work, Fuzzy. I'll let Fuzzy do it. That's allowed. Hey, James. Hey. James. <laughs> oh, it's cool. um, just amazing. Is. amazing. And that's the card there that James has cool. done. James, you've started doing a lot of these. Uh, hang on, James, I'll make you big. You've started doing a lot of these little trading cards, haven't you? They look really cool. Show with that one again. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that rules. I love it. <laughs> Um Ben, we're good friend, the attention seeking geek, sent that in. Um, which is stunning of, of uh, Frankenstein and his bride. So thank you very much for that, Ben. Um and then finally, James, you kind of prompted us. I did a little bit of work myself. We've got a lot of digital images last week, so I thought I'd have a play myself. Um, and I did the, <laughs> the monster of the moment and did myself as a clicker. Um, so, yeah, some cool stuff. Oh, was I supposed to send, send you this? Oh, you've, you've added something to it. So, oh, come. <laughs> yeah, it's the, the, the cherry jam on my lips. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what we'll do is um, I'll put these up on, on um, Instagram at the end of the show for people to have a look at. And then, Alex, if you wouldn't mind having a look at them and then let me know which one you think is the winner and we'll send some comics if that's all right. Sure. Um, so we can do that after the show so we can have a good look at them. Yeah. Um, now, we always have a, a contributor, Mrs. Von Hoot, who sends in some images for us and she always does them in either watercolours or, or okay, oil paint. Yeah. It's, it's just absolutely phenomenal. So she's followed along tonight and done these along with the rounds we've been doing. Um, these are absolutely amazing. Um, I love Ooh. that last one. Oh, that one, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah. It's just yeah. incredible. The click has <laughs> as well. So, uh, Mrs. Von Hoot, thank you very much. I'll send you some comics. I've still got your address. So, thank you very much. I'll send you some, some books. Okay, guys. So, 
thank you very much to everybody that's taken part. Our next Geeky Art Attack, which will be on the 3rd of April, we're going to do Turtle Universe. So that is all things from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle um, arena. So that should be an interesting one. Um, hopefully there'll be some rabbits for you, James, to draw, because I know you do like your, your rabbits. Um, so we've got that coming up soon. I'm thinking by the end of the weekend, myself and a few other guys will have hopefully seen the new Scream movie. So we're going to do a review on that um, on, on the channel. Not sure what time yet or what date, but if anybody's interested in taking part in that, do drop us a line and let us know. Next Monday on this channel, we've got Let's Talk Toys, where we're going to look at all kinds of action figures, one six scale computer games and all that kind of jazz. So that should be fun. Um, quick shout out to all the UK community who do live shows we've got the boys over at this week in metropolis they're on tomorrow night um so please do go and check their show out with what the nerd heard they're on wednesday looking at the boys i believe and um, so go and check that one out boys a tremendous book love that one killer comic show on thursday as ever they'll do some comic book reviews i think the review in um i can't remember if it's breath of shadows or not this week there's a vote normally alex and sometimes um I think the review of Breath of Shadows won the last time, but we'll see. So they're doing some reviews and they're also going to do some topic table and action figures and things like that. And then we've got the Grey Man, <coughs> excuse me, on Saturday with his um, cover slingers show. Kev, you've got your show. Is that Wednesday nights? Uh, Thursday nights Thursday. on the Nerd Herd channel. And what are yeah. you drawing this week? This week I'm drawing Superman. So oh, we'll be drawing Superman this week. Good stuff. So if you haven't watched Kev's show, The Draw Along, and um, basically he teaches you how to draw, so I could probably do with some lessons. Um, but it's well worth watching. It's very, very entertaining, so please do check that out. James, we've got Last of Us, Episode 8 review on Thursday. Yep, so usually it's on Wednesday, but we have to do it Thursday this week. Um, so that's at 8 o'clock. We're going to be talking about the newest episode, which I have opinions on. Oh, well, I watched it today, and I thought it was absolutely tremendous. I think, yeah, loved it, loved it. <laughs> Efren, all kinds of good stuff on your channel. You've got your top five comics, your Did You Knows and all that kind of stuff. Anything in particular yeah. you want to mention? Um, did You Knows, I'm really enjoying those. Those are uh, YouTube shorts that just talk about um, comic book, like trivia or history, and uh, also like top five comic books. But the special one, the most important one for me is the one we, we never put on here is the one I do with you, Peter, every month. You know, we <laughs> yeah. pick our top five advanced orders. That's always fun to do. Good stuff. Me, I love that one as well. Thank you very much, yeah. mate. Um, okay, I think I just wanted to give a bit of a shout out to Roscoe, who's one of our um, American friends, who does a similar show to this, Between the Lines, which will be tonight. I think it's about 2.30 UK time, where he's got actual Dracula. That's an interesting show in that he gives you a bit longer. I think I have the entire length of the show to draw um, an image. So that's always worth watch as well. Okay. Anybody else got any shows coming up that they want to mention? JP, you got anything coming up on your channel? Yeah, just got a quick review coming out on Friday at 3 p.m. Um, for Ice Cream Man, Volume 1. I love it. I love Ice so, Cream Man. And normally knocking about spine ticks. So. Good stuff. James, you're pumping out a lot of content at the moment. You've got lots of videos coming out. Um, absolutely nothing in the pipeline. I'll probably think of something stupid in the next <laughs> couple of weeks and I'll stick it on, but not at the minute I've nothing, nothing planned, but... Are we going to have more songs? Because that, that song on the last video of the, was yeah. tremendous. I have written the song, but I can't uh, I can't quite put it to music yet, but I'm, I'm working on it. Good stuff, good stuff. And Alex, is there anything else coming up that you want to talk about? Anything um, coming up in your, your world? Um, <laughs> oh, uh, the only thing I got going on... Um, uh, no, just buy my books. Uh, I'll be doing a signing, but that's in uh, Danvers, Massachusetts. So if anybody you want to bit of a bit of a there. bit of a trek forward, yeah. bit of a trek. <laughs> but um, yeah, but um, but yeah, that uh, I mean, you can follow me on like Twitter at uh, Alex Cormack four on Instagram at my name Alex Cormack. You know, Google me; I'll pop up somewhere. You know. <laughs> Tremendous. Thank you very much. Okay, ladies and gents, I just want to give a massive thank you to the to the panel for taking part tonight. A huge thank you to Alex, and really do appreciate you coming on, Alex. Hey, so thank um, you, guys. This was a blast. This was a lot of fun. I, I won't I won't press you, and I'll not bother you. But if you ever want to come on again, do just give oh, us a I, shout. Dude, absolutely, yeah, yeah, it was that's great. Fun. <laughs> um, and thank you to everybody in the chat. The chat's been pumping tonight, so thank you very much, everybody, for taking part. And um, really have appreciated you all um, joining in. Mm. And with that, we'll call it a night. So thank you, everybody, and we'll catch you all next time. Take care now. Bye. <laughs>